1904, a merchant ship is sailing through the Cook Strait in New Zealand, when suddenly, a man takes aim and fires his rifle. Was it pirates? Was it a mythical sea creature? The Kraken, perhaps? Turns out the man's actions that day would set a legal precedent, as a dolphin would go on to become the first individual sea creature to be protected by law and declared guardian of the sea. This is the story of Polaris Jack. Despite the perilous attempt on his life, Polaris Jack's commitment to guiding ships through treacherous waters remained unyielding. Jack was somewhat of a legend in the Cook Strait. He would wait at the entrance for ships passing through so he could swim along and guide them around unseen obstacles and would even perform tricks for the sailors. Some said he had an almost telepathic connection to the crews on board, and he knew what ships went where and when. But unfortunately, one ship in particular he knew to stay away from. After the blatant attempt at taking his life by someone on board the SS Penguin, the news reached the mainland, and an angry government got to work and passed the Sea Fisheries Act on 26 September 1904. Jack became the first and only sea creature to be protected by maritime law by any country in a ward of the sea. In 1909, Karma would eventually catch up with the SS Penguin. Tragically, she sank below the waters, killing 75 of his crew and only leaving 30 survivors. Jack conveniently was nowhere to be found that day. The perilous porpoise continued to provide precise navigation through unpredictable pathways for years until his untimely demise in 1912, leaving the maritime community in shambles over his mysterious and sudden death. Nobody really knows what happened to Polaris Jack. However, his legacy lives on in maritime lore, and he remains a symbol of guidance through unfamiliar territory especially in the vast and unpredictable realm of the open sea. And that's the story of Polaris Jack. Thanks for clocking in.